This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Principles, Unit 5, Building Apps, Lesson 14, Building an App Image Scroller, Puzzle 6, Multiple Keys. Oh, great. If you want your program to respond differently to a couple key, to a couple different keys, you will need to use chained, ah, chained conditional statements, if and else if, maybe even else. Let's set up the program to play a different sound for the down key. Do this. We'll add another sound to the app, but it's just sitting at the top of the code. Oh, so that will always play. Add an if statement to check if the down arrow is pressed. Okay. So I'm going to go to control and grab my if statement. Wait a minute. Add an else if. That makes more sense. So I can just hit plus. Okay. And even just plus again. There's my else if. Else if, and what am I checking? Well, event dot key. So does the event parameter dot key or the event argument uh, equal down? And I think down is capitalized. So let's see here. And then what do we want to do? Move the play sound. Got it. Okay. Move that down here. We don't need this space right there. Let's get rid of this else part. I don't think we need it now. And let me try. I'm wearing a headphone so you can't hear, but I will let you know. All right, up, up still works. And now, but da Boom, boom, boom. I'm making a song. Not really. <laughs> awesome. So else statements and if else and all of that can be really tricky. I mean, if statements. Uh, can be tricky. So, but what's really cool is we can check multiple keys, right? So first the computer says, hey, event.key is currently the up key being pressed? Okay, if not, so this will only run if I press them both at the same time, up is the only code that will run. Because if it will just play this sound and then it goes below the whole statement, but well, below the whole if statement hits the bottom of our function. Okay, so it's only going to check if the down key is pressed if the up key is not pressed. That's how else works. If we wanted to check for both of them at the same time, well, kind of at the same time, you could use an, a separate if uh, statement for this one. Anyways, great. That is working. Let's keep going.